high tech uh, kind of uh, vehicle, which of course, as, as what was mentioned earlier, is the first uh, being used in Southeast Asia. And uh, we, of course, uh, we want to make sure that before it's uh, made available to the pub, to the public, we want to to ensure that the buses uh, have been fully been uh, tested uh, uh, on the routes that we expect them to go through. Uh, basically, it's a Okshi route, you know, okay, uh, whole Kuching smart heritage routes. Eh? Uh, that he, we will we more or less have finalized it, but we will re, only reveal it later on. Uh, the content of the hydrogen mm. is uh, one bus full tank is about 20, 20, 20 kg. 20 kg, uh, according to the design, is supposed to run for 300, 300, 300 uh, km. Uh, what type of uh, route? Uh, that we have actually designed it for, and whether that 300 km, uh, kilometers un, uh, distance will be will be covered by that 20 uh, kilogram of hydrogen in the bus full tank, eh? and as you know, uh, the filling rate is about uh, one, one, kg, one kg, per kg per minute, so it's about 20 minutes, uh, one kilogram, right? And then uh, we plan, of course, if uh, based on the routes that we have designed, uh, by the time they come back to its base, that's when we need only the refueling to be done. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, it was designed in such a way that we don't need to re refuel anything in between. But of course, this technology needs high supervision. Uh, uh, that's why our, our, even our drivers, uh, they have been trained, uh, but then it tended to be really much um, uh, doing it. That's one of the reasons why we're putting yeah. them on trial run, yeah. uh, uh, so that the bus, the the, conf, uh, the bus, the problem, the drivers, if they are areas that are still not familiar with, uh, the technicians from China, the engineers from China, will be able to to educate them or to train them f uh, fully until until they are 100% confident to, to handle the buses when uh, they are being used by the public later on.